Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Fully Loaded Customs. If you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave those comments down below at the end of the video. Uh, hey, and yeah, stay tuned to the end of the video there too. I do got some cool custom airbrush concept art of uh, the vision I had for the 58 Impala when that 58 was sitting there down in the valley. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. And hey, if you're, if you're new to the channel, Welcome. This channel is going to be all about finding vehicles like how the 58 Impala was in the field. Uh, that 64 Impala from the other video. That 71 Chevelle from the other video there as well. Getting these cars up out of the fields, bring them into the shop, tearing them down, uh, making some cool custom classic cars out of them and giving these cars a second chance to burn rubber. So hey, stay with us for that. Uh, so I got the two shops I'm going to be working out of. I got this shop here uh, where the 58 Impala is. Uh, I've also got a 67 Impala convertible SS outside. When the weather is nice, I'll do a walk around video on that car there for you, uh, for you guys there as well. Uh, and the other shop's going to be my buddy's shop. And he's probably got, oh, th 35 to 40 muscle cars out there. And uh, we're talking... Uh, Dodge Chargers, Dodge Challengers, Dodge Cornettes, uh, Ford Mustang, Chevrolet Chevelles, uh, Pontiac GTOs, uh, Pontiac Trans Am, Chevy C10s, uh, AMC Javelins. He's got tons of muscle cars and trucks out there. So, uh, stay with us. You know, I'll be filming videos of those, uh, those builds there too. Uh, us walking out, getting to pick out which vehicles we want to do out of the field, getting them up bringing them in the shop, tearing them down, and uh, building some cool uh, custom classic cars out of those as well. So stay tuned, right? And uh, yeah, like I said, I, I do a lot of cool uh, airbrush art and design work there too. So I do airbrushing, pinstriping, gold leafing, candy paint, flake, uh, gold plating. I'm learning how to do metal engraving too. Uh, I do low rider pattern designs, Cal Concept mini truck designs. So anytime I'm doing any kind of cool custom artwork like that, I'll be sure to upload that there too so you guys can check it out. Um, and yeah, welcome there too, because like I was saying before in the other video, man, I got I got big goals for my shop. I got big goals of what I want to do and accomplish in life. So stay with me for that journey there too. So like right now, um, you know, as you can see, I'm starting out in a two-car garage. Um, but you know, my vision for what I want to do with the shop. Is, is to build something like a gas monkey the garage that's known worldwide. Uh, that's the goal I have, uh, and, and that's what I'm, uh, I set for myself, and that's what I want to accomplish. And hey, you know, I might be starting in a small shop, but you know, that's not going to discourage me any because hey, if you take a look at things like uh, Apple, Google, Amazon, Harley Davidson, uh, all those places started from a space no bigger than this. So if they can accomplish it, so can I. I'm going after it, so stay with me on that journey because uh, that's my goal, that's my plan for the shop, and that's what I am going to accomplish. So stay with me for that, right? And hey, I just want to motivate and inspire other people there too, guys. So like, if you got any old vehicles or custom cars or classic vehicles uh, you know, that, you, that you have, that you haven't had a chance to work on, or you haven't, uh, it's been on the back burner for a long time, Hey man, I just, I want to inspire people to go out there and, you know, pick up the wrenches and pick up the sanding blocks and get working on those cars again. Because sooner or later, uh, if you don't do it now, you're going to regret not doing it later. And don't let it get to that point, guys. So go pick up your tools, you know, get out there and work on the vehicles that you want to build and, you know, go out and have some fun with too, right? So, hey, let me get this frame out of the way. I'll move the car into the center garage here. Uh, we'll do a walk around so you guys can check out what I've got done so far on the 58 Impala. Okay, perfect, guys. So I got that frame out of the way, so so I'm able to do another walk around here and check out the Impala now. Uh, as you can see, the firewall it got hit hard. Um, it, you know, it's 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 it got hit hard. It's looking pretty sad and pretty rough. Uh, the frame got hit as well. It's been, it's the frame on the car is no good. That's why I got the other frame. Um, the firewall needs to be cut out and replaced. I do have another firewall here for, for a 1958 Impala. I found this one here um, on, on a uh, another 58 Impala parts car. 
pretty much the only thing that was salvageable on that car. Uh, I needed it, so I got it. When I get a chance, I'll take the firewall and the frame outside down to the uh, the sandblast shop, put on the coveralls for the afternoon, do some sandblasting. But as yeah, as you can see, like the door is good shape, uh, the roof is in good shape. It hasn't been jumped on or nothing like that. Rear package tray is in good shape. Uh, you know this beautiful uh, roof vent here. This is in nice shape as well. It's not all damaged. Uh, the taillight pockets here in the back quarter panel on the passenger side is nice and not so much on the driver's side. The driver's side has been, uh, it's been hit. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, there, there's, there's pretty much no fixing that. Um, you know, that needs to be uh, replaced with a new one. But, you know, the unfortunate thing is uh, these cars are super hard to find. Uh, this is the only 58 Impala I've ever come across, and that's exactly why I was not leaving it down the valley. Um, but you know, fortunately, I do know where there's a bunch of 58 Biscaynes. So, uh, as you can see here underneath my workbench, I do got a 58 Biscayne uh, quarter panel piece for it. Uh, obviously, I know this is a Biscayne quarter panel. Um, the upper section here, it's not as wide as the Impala. I believe the Impala is 13, 13 inches uh, in width. And I believe these here are 11. So that's not the same, but uh, right here I can cut this and extend the metal over. And yeah, just roll it, roll it out and then just do piece by piece or whatever and put together a quarter panel for this car. Uh, the other profile here is in good shape. So, you know, I'll, I'll be able to use this as the other, the other skin for it. I believe that's about... 46 inches or so uh, for that replacement panel I've got. So 46 inches um, brings me to about this point here, I believe, on the car. And as you can see, that's the majority of the, the bad damaged quarter panel. So the only difference here with this as well is that third tail light. But I do got another section outside uh, where this part here, it's not quite as bad. Uh, so I'll be able to take a mallet or a hammer and I'll, I'll be able to shape uh, shape this back to being round, uh, weld in that Biscayne quarter panel there. Um, and yeah, just, just basically put all the pieces back together to make it in the power. Uh, this section here, uh, you know, I, I can get this here through Classic Industries, Auto City Classics, uh, you know, eBay and stuff like this. This, this panel section here, uh, I believe it does come up just underneath the trim lines here all the way into the door. So it gives me a brand new full section. Um, once this is cut out, I'll be able to replace uh, any metal that's inside the inner tub that needs to be done. Um, you know, the rear part of the floor, anything I may be, I'll be able to get to once this quarter panel is removed. But uh, I, I can get the wheel arches for the car. Wheel arches, once again, they come up. Right here is a square piece here. Uh, behind the rear wheel, this section here, they do got these brand new as well. I will be ordering this for the driver's side and the passenger side. Cutting, replacing, chopping those, putting them in there, right? Uh, you know, it's a, when people look at it, it's a very daunting task. Um, but hey, if you enjoy restoring vehicles, it's not that bad. It's a lot of work, a lot of work. A lot of work, but at the end of the day, hey, when you got a vehicle that you enjoy and you can go cruising with, that a lot of work is uh, definitely worth the time. Uh, and, you know, and as you can see, the uh, the floor though, uh, pretty non-existent, <laughs> non-existent floor. And you know, surprisingly enough, I didn't really cut too much this way. I merely trimmed the edges. Uh, the, the majority of this was not there when the car came up out of the ground. So, um, but you know they they do make they do make these new floor pans here for it. You can get uh, the, for the back, uh, for the front here as well. They do make the tow the tow boards you can get for the '58 Impala. Uh, the only piece they don't make is this piece that goes over top the transmission. Uh, but you know, remarkably enough, and it's actually not in that bad of shape for uh, for the car compared to everything else, right? Um, you know, they do got uh, in, in the back there, as you can see, you know, there, there's rust and stuff. You just got to, you just got to pick a section and just keep on taking care of it. Replacing, you know, cut the bad metal out, form the new metal and weld it in.
Um, you know, but at the end of the day, when the car is done, it's going to be one badass car. And it's going to be turning heads everywhere it goes, you know. And uh, you take a look at the trunk, for example. The, you know, the trunk's in good shape, too. Uh, someone did bend this all to hell, though, when they were trying to get in here. I guess the, the trunk was locked, so they must have took a pry bar or something and bent this up to get it out. But here's, you know, here, here's the thing. When you start adding stuff, like, the, you know, here's my rocker panels I got, uh, you know, and the, and the floor pans. So basically... When you start doing something as simple as, and there's there's not much floor here, in the, there's not much floor here in the trunk. But when you start just adding stuff, and you can start seeing new metal kind of kind of go in there. You know, it's not so bad because. This whole section is stamped and that replaces, you know, 50% of the trunk. All of a sudden, you know, all this missing metal is not that bad. It's all getting replaced with good stuff, right? But, you know, I do, I do got the new, uh, the new trunk pans for it. Like I said, the new rocker panels I got for here as well. Um, yeah, so come over here. So I've got a grill for it. Uh, grill, I've got the rear, front and rear bumpers. Uh, I believe I'll probably end up ordering new ones though, uh, depending on how these polish out. But uh, if new ones are the way to go, I'll order new ones. Uh, most of this metal stuff I can I can polish up, make it look real good. Uh, I've got most of the dash stuff for it here too, the glove boxes. Tons of rusty metal. Uh, this is all the interior panels and stuff like that at one point in time. Uh, as you can see, these here, I'll take to the sandblaster, get them sandblasted, repaint them. Um, on all my metal stuff I got up here for all the door trim. Door trim, whatever trim was left on it, I'll, you know, part with all the, all the, all the good stuff, I'll polish up, make it look real nice. And then anything that's bad, I'll just put a list together and, you know, grab new stuff if I have to. So, uh, rad support down here. Up top here, I got uh, the inner fender wells for it here as well. Um, there's just a little tank here, bike tank. Like I said, I'm going to make a uh, do some cool airbrush work for this. Then I just kind of got all my stuff set up here, all my body shop supply stuff. Uh, House of Color. I'm a, I'm a big fan of House of Color. That's what I like to paint with. And yeah, basically. This is what I've got going on right now. Um, I'll go over here too, and like I was saying, like I'll show you. Uh, as you can take a look, you can see uh, my, um, I got my air compressor. I got all my lights set up on the side here too, so it's very nice and bright. I can definitely see what I'm doing. Um, got my tools here. I got to pick up a toolbox here for my birthday coming up. Uh, here's a couple of airbrush artwork that I was talking about here too that I've been working on. Uh, these are just, uh, I did this for a guy's C10, is just like a CD player uh, center dash cover piece there. I just did some artwork for that. Uh, there's just another panel that I was working on just to do some cool art that I haven't had a chance to airbrush for a while. So I did this here. I got to clear that yet there too. So yeah, so this is basically the shop that I got to put together here. All my parts are on the side. Uh, more than enough room to, to work with, you know, comfortably. Then I got uh, yeah my air compressor all set up here, uh, firewall there. So yeah, guys, you know welcome you know, hey, well, like I said, well you know once again hey welcome to the channel. Uh, I will be restoring this you know 58 in Palace. So hey stay tuned and check it out, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work, but at the end of the day it's gonna be a badass car. And hey man, I'll tell you right now, I got the car for free. All I had to do was put wheels and tires on it. So by the time I get all the sheet metal and the replacement stuff together, I'm not really sitting that bad. So, you know, you know I come across cars like this and stuff all the time. And if I can pick up something like this for free, I'm going to pick it up because, yeah, like I said, you know, there's, it's, it's, it's not, uh, it's not impossible. Once you start, once you start going after something, you decide in your mind you're going to do it. 
hey, you, you, you can make that stuff happen. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. So, you know, thanks again for clicking on the, the video. Stay tuned. Any updates I do or any work I do on the car from this point, I will be posting online as well. And like I said, I do have another buddy there too. He's got probably 35, 45 muscle cars. And I'm talking Mustangs, Chevelles, Dodge Chargers, Dodge Challengers, Dodge Coronets, uh, you know, AMC Javelins. He's got a ton of stuff out there. Um, you know, I'll be working with him there too in his shop. And whenever we're building the Mustang or Challenger, because I think he's only got about seven Mustangs and four or five Challengers, I'll be posting those videos as well because, uh, you know, I love classic cars. I love custom cars. Um, you know, and I appreciate everyone's taste, like rad rods and uh, everything. I think I, I just I just enjoy the call car the 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 car culture. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I I, I enjoy doing these. Uh, you know, like I said, I do custom painting and stuff. So you know, I I enjoy doing like low rider style patterns and uh, you know custom paint, candy paint, flake. Uh, airbrushing, pinstriping, gold leafing, you know, but I, hey, I, I really enjoy doing like stock custom colors too and, um, you know, building cars like that as well. Like, so, you know, stay tuned to the channel because we'll have, you know, I'll be building muscle cars, uh, cars to the, you know, back to original, uh, original, you know, factory specs and we'll be doing, uh, yeah. Muscle cars, classic cars, a bunch of cool stuff, so stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks a lot for sticking around to the end of the video. So like I said, this is the 58 Impala. Uh, this is how far I've gotten on it. It's been sandblasted now. Everything's been stripped down. The only thing left for me to do now is uh, to get, get rid of this bad metal and start putting some good metal into this. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the car, give you a quick update. And like I said, I'm going to show you the concept art I came up with here. So. So guys, this is how I found it down the valley there, 1958 Impala. Uh, it had been sitting down there for over, well over 50 years, probably close to 60 years, if not more, abandoned. It was missing the original drivetrain. Uh, been, in, you know, missing half the front clip. It's been in two major collisions, and you know, to a lot of people, this is a parts car. It's not a, it's not a non, it's a non-savable car. But when I originally seen this car, I didn't see that. What I seen was a a one year only model, a 1958 Impala that would challenge me to learn new abilities and new talents I'd need in order to say something like this. So I didn't see this car when I first came across it in the field. Um, you know, I, I, I seen a show car, a head turning show car. And you know, this is what I created in my mind is a 1958 Impala lowrider, full candy paint, full, you know, custom patterns, airbrushing, uh, gold plating, you know, that's what I'm gonna build out of it is a custom lowrider that I would, We'll use all my creative, uh, you know, talents and abilities on this car. So that's it, guys. That's my plans with the 58. I'm going to build one badass lowrider out of it. So once it's on the rotisserie, I'll be able to wrap all my patterns up underneath here. Uh, I'll be able to, to wrap my patterns from the hood into the dash and wrap them down. Uh, I can probably do some cool custom airbrush work in here. Uh, I can wrap patterns up into the package tray here. Uh, I can gold plate all this, all the side trim. Um, the, the exterior window trim, the front and rear bumpers, 
the, the grill, the headlight bezels, um, and all, all that stuff. They're all the exterior uh, 58 Impala trim. When I get up here to the wheel wall, I can probably airbrush some nice, cool, cool airbrush designs up in here. I can wrap my patterns on my wheel wells here. Um, you know, I can gold plate some engine components. You know, heck, if I'm any good at uh, a metal engraving, by then I can metal engrave them too, right? So uh, the frame, I'll get this frame out of here and uh, get the other one sandblasted, candy paint, flake it, put it, some cool patterns on it. Um, you know, even I could even airbrush some cool artwork into the door jams here. Uh, maybe a nice mural on the back. Or I could airbrush just, you know, just something underneath here as well. Uh, a lot of, lots of cool space there by some custom. Maybe a nice, cool custom display rack here. Uh, what I could do too is I could wrap patterns so they match on the hood, roof, and trunk. And then, you know, what that would allow is when you're looking at the vehicle, everything flows and goes inside and flows down, flows on the back. So that's my plans with the car. I'm gonna build a, you know, a cool custom lowrider out of it. You know, that's why I like getting vehicles in this shape. Uh, when they're missing so many pieces and the number matching motor is not there and um, you know half the original stuff is gone because now I can build a cool custom car out of it right and give it a second chance at life right so you know that, that's what I'm going to do I'm going to build a cool custom car out of it uh, some people might not like it because it's not going back to stock but you know hey if you're if you're judging somebody based on what they're building or based on what they drive you know the only person who's going to miss out on cool stuff is yourself um, you know, I've met tons of cool people who drive different things, right? And, um, you know, the, the main thing is, is uh, the, you know, the cool people I've met is they, they all share a passion for the, the automotive culture, right? Getting out there with your friends and family, going to car shows, uh, you know, and just checking out people's, uh, people's creative abilities and talents, right? So, like, if you can go out there and you can take something you, you've built either in your backyard shop and... Uh, with you know your friends, your family, or your sons, your daughters, your dads, your moms, or whatever, and show it off. You know that's what it's all about is creating those great memories. So hey, you know thanks a lot, guys, for for sticking around. Uh, be sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, you know stay tuned as I'm doing more more uh, more work on the vehicles. I'll be sure to uh, to upload those as well. So you know yeah, thanks for sticking around. Stay tuned, and I'll bring you some more custom car stuff. Thank you.